So this episode, I'm going to be talking about same information, but in different forms. Sometimes you might get the same information, but it looks different to you. And you can get it from anybody. You could have three different people with the same message and still come out of it learning something different from all three. And you perceive it different from all three also. And, but it be the same message. And my thing is that you can't dismiss someone's message just because you say, oh yeah, I heard it before. Because who knows, you might find that, you know, you might get something or new information from just hearing that same message. Um, it, it looks different, it might be a different person, but it might be the same thing, and you might perceive it all totally different too. So, the next time you hear a message or something that she's like, oh, I've already seen that or already heard that, don't overlook it because sometimes that same thing that you might have seen before might be totally different. It might start off the same way as something else, but then who knows? At the end, you might find or learn or even find something exciting or new about what the information that you thought you already knew. So always be a student and never try to be the teacher all the time because by trying to be the teacher or already knowing something, will stop you from learning something new, even if it's the same thing that you already knew before. You could find an even shorter way of doing things that you already knew. Um, half the time, you know, I, I've, I tell this to everybody that asks me, I'm always a student because I'm always learning something new, even if it's something that I have learned before. I've learned new ways of doing different things over the course of years. And my perception is everyone that I meet has something valuable to teach me. So I'm not going to be close to not receiving the new information because people cross paths for one reason or another, whether it is to teach you a lesson or to get a lesson from you. So you never know what one it might be. So do not be closed on learning new information even if it does sound the same. Another thing I would like to talk about is you can't dismiss someone's experience just because it looks different than yours. Everyone has an experience and they have done or did things and it probably be the similar as you but it's different. Because just like I got a scar and we got cut the same thing, the same way, with the same knife. But I healed a little bit slower than you and you healed a lot faster than me. But we got cut with the same knife. We got cut the same way by the same person. And it looks a whole totally different. My scar bumped up. Your scar didn't. It very, left very minimal scars on you, but then on me, I'm here, I, you can see visibly the scar. So what that looks like is everybody has a different experience on different things. Just because you have the same experience or same wound or the same burn or same whatever, it does not always look the same. So you can't dismiss someone's experience because of the fact that you feel like, oh, I had this happen to me and this is how it was and so I don't think that that happened to you because it didn't look the same way you think it looked. Because as you know, society always have you conform to what they want you to be 
or how you should perceive a certain thing. And we all know that society always leads us down the rabbit hole and it be dark. So with that being said, not all things are what it perceives to be. So you have to take a deeper look and figure out exactly what it is for that person. Because in order to walk a mile in their shoes, you have to really sit and look and see exactly what that person has went through, been through, or perceived. And if you can't do that, then you would not know the experience that they're having. When the world has us looking and experiences through a 3D or a magnifying glass. I, I see it as like most people feel like it's black and white. But sometimes there's a gray matter that's in there. And people don't understand or don't realize that with that gray matter, you know, everybody hurts and, and lives in this world together and they experience things in life, but it only takes one moment for you to say, hey, what is it that you need? You know, we often um, share our stories, but we often don't ask, is there anything that that person needs once they share their stories? And with that experience that we're having all together, you know, we should take more time to unify together and say, hey, you know, I'm here, or comfort that person as they're sharing their experience. Like I said, you know, even though you, you've had the same experience and, and experienced different things, but you never know what that person is feeling on the outside or the inside. Because what people show you on the outside is only the facade of keeping it surface. But in order to get to the person inside, you have to ask, you know, and most people we walk by and we never ask. We never say, hey, how are you doing today? You know, hey, um, is there anything that I can do for you? People, we walk by every day saying, oh, well, you know, they're homeless. And we don't stop and say, hello, how are you doing? Or you don't stop by and say, is there anything you need? You know, we automatically walk by them and we assume that they're okay. You know, most of the time our bosses who are yelling at us, who are always in a, a foul mood or having one of those tantrum, when you know, people say they're having a bitch fit or a BF, you know, those are the ones who really needs the most love and care. You know, they're the ones who are saying, hey, I need your help, but I don't know how to say it. And most of the time, those are the ones we run away from because we're like, oh, they're just in their moods today and we're going to stay away from them. When it only takes one person to change their mood, you know. It, later on, I'm going to do a topic on bosses and how to deal with bosses who are having a BF and um, how to maneuver and get their moods right because it only starts with a hello or a friendly gesture. And I know a lot of people say, oh, well, even after having said hello or given a friendly gesture, their mood still was foul. But here's the thing. If you say it one time, does that justify anything? No. Just keep trying because my thing is, you can't be bitchy or fussing at people all the time who are being nice to you. It'll just wear you down. I'm telling you, I know, because I've, I've had a couple of bosses like that, you know, and they try their best to, to be the brontosaurus that they think they are, and then at the middle of the night, you know, people are like, well, how did you get her to talk to you like that? And I was like, well, I was like, well, she can't be mean all the time. There's somebody underneath there. There's a, there is a soul. You just got to reach it. And once you reach that person, you know, or know the experience that they have had, then you know how to reach them. Because everybody has a past. You just got to figure out how or where to go to get them. You know, um, 
most people who are having a, a bad day, you know, the only thing they really want is somebody to say hello or ask them how they're doing. And not just the surface, oh, hey, how are you doing? They would really want someone to ask them, hi, how are you really doing? And that's what I'm asking y'all to do, is to take a moment to stop by and say, how are you doing? And not just surface passing by saying, hey, how you doing? You know, have a nice day. No, figure out what it is that you can do for someone to make their day better. Because, you know, we sit here, we all have lived experience, we have all our lives to do different things, and we have family, we have friends, we have all of that. But do we actually have a meaningful connection with people? That's the, the major thing that we really need to do is start having connection with people. You know, we spend all our days behind a, a computer screen, behind a TV, behind a cell phone, behind video games, that we don't have connection with the actual people that we say that we love, you know. I, I, I can say this because I can laugh at it and say it at the same time that, you know, I, if I want my children to come to dinner, I, I got to text them. And I'm like, okay, why I got to text you to come to dinner when I can just get up and call you, you know, and say come to dinner. But, you know, we live in this day and age, like, you know, calling them, they're not going to come. So you got to text them. And I'm like, okay. And I get you got to reach people where they're at. But honey, let me tell you, we're going to have to start bringing people back to the tables, praying, sitting down with each other, having dinner with each other. These are the things that matter. You know, we have taken so much time to try to not do what our parents and families have done before that we are losing touch on what it is means to be connected and that is the hardest part of everything because when you're touching on community and you're saying that you want family and you want friends you want all this to be connected and joined it but then you're spending so much time disconnecting it that doesn't make sense because you need to bring it back together bring it back as a whole yeah our parents and our four parents or whatever, yeah, we want to change some things. We, we're not living in the past. That's dead and gone. But how about we bring connection back? That's something that our parents did have that worked. So bring that back. You know, bring the unity back and the family and the, 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 the wholeness. Because when we strip that, we don't have anything. And we're living in a, in a, a traumatized world. And how to untraumatize that is bring back community and families. And that's the biggest part of it. So when you walk up to someone and you see that there is an experience that someone's having and they're sharing this with you, bring back that community connection. Because that is what's going to bring that person to you closer, you know, and bring that connection all together you know your experience may be different than their experience even though it was the same thing but bring that connection with that experience and then you will see a whole different change that's all together something totally new and that's what I was saying from the beginning just because you have the same experience don't mean that you can't learn from it and get something new from it Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you'll never miss an episode. And comment below and tell me something about yourself. Because I am that.